Probably the main hardware update is the aircraft radar. The AN-APG-81 radar of the F-35 was considered already a state-of-the-art unit, so when the new radar was announced by appearing as a single line in a budgetary document, it was a surprise for many, including myself. This would be a hardware upgrade, but it's not included in the TR-3 and it will come later with Block 17 aircraft. We made a couple of videos already about the F-35 radar and AISA radars in general. Built by Northrop Grumman, the APG-81 in particular has introduced the capability of addressing its 1,676 module to a granularity level capable of managing different functions, even non-radar related, with a single AISA array. In fact, the radar is not only capable of producing a beam and listening to the echoes, which is the basic function of every radar, it can probably emit multiple beams on different frequencies, changing frequency hundreds of times per second and throttling the power emitted to be just sufficient for the purpose without being a too obvious source of emissions that could be identified by the opponent's electronic support measures. This is the LPI technology which has been around for decades but it finds its more effective application in AISA radars. If that was not enough, the radar can digitally produce a large variety of waveforms that can be used for target recognition, which is one of the key capabilities that the F-35 is bringing to the table. But the radar can also emit and receive typical communication waveforms, so it can be used as a radio or as a data link, uh, more likely particularly to guide the weapons, or it can be used for the IFF function or for jamming the opponent's radars or potentially its communications. The ANAPG-81 peak power has never been disclosed, but it seems to be in the high range of the category. Why did I talk about the ANAPG-81, the legacy radar, so much? Well, because we really know nothing about the ANAPG-85, but the common opinion seems to be that it will be well, more of the same. It won't add any specific capability, but it will improve the performance in terms of range, sensitivity, and crucially, processing power. Since the APG-81 is built with semiconductors based on um, gallium arsenide technology, it seems only reasonable that the APG-85 will be built with gallium nitride semiconductors. These are the next generation and, and have several advantages over the older technology. And while well, they're now basically mainstream, but a complete discussion would take us too far. It's enough to say that the power being handled is likely going to increase. Some additional functions are mentioned in the sources. For example, the APG-85 will have a new software for sea surveillance and the possibility of using synthetic aperture to increase the definition of the radar images. You should explain what synthetic aperture is. Uh, true what is, but it would take us too far from the original subject of the video. For now, it is enough to say that it is a technique that uses the antenna motion with the aircraft to increase the resolution of the radar images.